Lift Every Voice and Sing is a song that I have heard all my life. It was written by two brothers, James Weldon Johnson and J. Rosmond Johnson in 1900. They grew up in Jacksonville, Florida, but had to leave Jacksonville to go to Atlanta for schooling because there was no schools for colored in Jacksonville. While in Atlanta, both worked to wash dishes in restaurants to support themselves. After graduation, they returned to Jacksonville and sought employment. They both were employed in the then established Jacksonville Colored Schools. In 1900, a celebration was planned to recognize Abraham Lincoln's birthday, and the Johnsons were asked to write a song and present it at the celebration. It was then that they wrote, Lift Every Voice and Sing. Please note that it's written in a very definite and intentional manner. There are three stanzas, and I was taught that each of them should be sung each time we sing it. The first one is that of rejoicing. It says, lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoicings rise high as the listening skies. Let it resound loud as the rolling seas. The second stanza became a little bit sad as it depicted slavery and the scars it had left. It said, stony the road we trod, bitter the chastening rod, felt in the days when hope unborn had died, yet with a steady beat have now our weary feet come to the place for which our father sighed. The third stanza moves us from the joyous description of the first through the sadness of the second and into the anticipation of God's continuous guidance. God of our weary years, God of our silent tears, thou who has brought us thus far on the way, thou who has by thy might led us into the light, keep us forever in the path we pray. There are no personal pronouns in this song. The words us, we, and our suggest unity. So when we sing this song, let us reflect on the circumstance under which it was written and pledge ourselves to be true to our God and to our native land. Now join me as we sing Lift every voice and sing. 